I want to talk about accident cars and the types of accident that we have. Today, I'm going to be talking about the three major factors affecting the foreign used car industry, be it salvage or clean title. Either you are buying from the auction or you are buying from any part of the world. Number one is the auction process. And number two is the foreign exchange you know, gap. Number three is the custom clearing. As a matter of fact, that is the major thing affecting all car dealers, you know, car users in Nigeria. Let me start with the custom clearing. How can we buy a car from the United States at the rate of 1.5 million naira using the auction or 2 million naira using the auction? Even with the crazy exchange rates and Nigeria Custom Service wants us to do, you know, the clearing for 1.8, 1.7 um, million, some 2.5 million. What sense does that make when you have a car at the auction at the rate of 1 million or 1.5 million naira, but you'll be clearing from your own government with 1.7 and 1.8 million naira? This is exorbitant and it doesn't make any sense because the, the effect will still be on the buyers, will still be on the society. I'm going to be appealing to the incoming government. Please, Baba, we they beg you. The custom clearing is not reasonable and it is killing our business. I beg. The clearing we used to do with this Sienna used to be 550 or 560,000 naira. You know, while we are still complaining. Today, Keke, if Trisaku is the right name to call it, is sold at a price close to 2 million naira. I can give you seven different car models that can represent or replace Keke in Nigeria if government is serious with the custom clearing and the automotive policy to encourage car dealers like us, to encourage employment, to encourage the artisans working on these cars. You can, you know, have a caveat or a restriction around what we can bring and the type of accident we cannot bring. Other than throwing the bath water away with the baby, it doesn't make any sense. So, I'm going to be talking about the custom clearing first of all. Just like I've stated, it is exorbitant, it is killing, and this incoming government should reverse it from what the outgoing government gave to us because it has reduced the numbers of cars to be imported into the country. So how does the government even make money? So I'm appealing once again, Baba, please help us reverse the current custom clearing that we are using with the outgoing government. Then let's talk about the auction process. The auction process is highly competitive. The auction companies are dealing with every part of the world. If you watch any of the auctions, especially on my page, you see Honduras, you see people from Georgia, and you see people within the you know, state in the United States itself. You see people from Canada, you see people from Mexico, you see people from Kenya trying to buy the same car that you want to bring to Nigeria. So it is highly competitive. So, and another thing that our government can do for us is the factor number three, which is the exchange rate. Of course, if the incoming government can do that and reverse the exchange rate back to 300, I swear, a lot of car dealers and car users out there will be smiling to the bank. And this will help the employment rate. At least, I should be able to employ one or two more people into my own small business. And the artisans, the panabita, the mechanic, the painter working on these vehicles, we have more to do. If the government can give us a reasonable automotive industry policy, a reasonable custom duty, I can tell you that we are going to be selling Toyota Camry 1998 
1999, 2000, 2001 model, Corolla 2003, 2004 model at a price very close to that of Keke. These cars are still running in America and these are American specs. So, this is just going to help us a long way if the government can do the needful. If you like this episode and you like to help support the podcast, please share it with others. To catch all the letters from me, follow me for more, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and let's keep the conversation going within the comment section. Thank you for your time. I'll see you next time.